Now let's try to update one of the existing products. For this, we also start working with Node-RED. Similar nodes, HTTP in, HTTP response, MongoDB out, and one function node. We connect them all together. We change the method to put and name the endpoint update product. We name this function node and we write what we want to do. And in order to update an object, we need to identify it by its object ID. This is the ID that MongoDB adds for each of its records. We set the module needed for use. And we specify which object should be updated through msg.query. MongoDB creates IDs in this format, underscore ID, and we indicate that this is the object ID that we will send from the UI part as the ID. Next, we need to update all fields of this object. To do this, we first need to remove the ID itself from the payload. Therefore, we write delete. We will send the name, price, and rating. After that, our msg.payload equals the object. We use the set operator to update the product. You can read all this documentation on the MongoDB website. We use the set operator and specify here msg.payload. This is all we need. Next, similarly, we specify the collection in which we want to perform this action and select the update method. We do not need to update all matches and create a new record. Therefore, we do not change any other settings. Let's add debugs to the HTTP pin node, to the update product node, and also see what the database returns. We click on Deploy. We return to the UI part and create the appropriate endpoints. We use a similar link to the backend from the ENVs and add the name of our endpoint and select the put method, similar to the one we selected here. And we write our body. The body will be similar to the one here, except that we take the data from different widgets. We take from name edit, since we named the widget from price edit the value and from rating edit. In addition, we need to add the ID here. We take the ID from the table, the selected row, and the ID. Let's check this functionality. So first, we need to call get. We got the only record in the table that we have. Let's now display the default values here for the update. The selected product will always be displayed in the table. So, when a field is selected in the table, our feelings are automatically filled in. 
when no selected field is present. These fillings disappear. Let's add a call to the API that updates our product when we click the Update button. On Success, similarly, we show a message. We'll add an info type to it. In case of an error, we'll also show a message, and this will be a warning. So let's try to update. We'll change the price to 15 and the rating to 5. We press the button. So let's see what happened on the back end. We had debug4 working, which corresponds to the GET request. And we see that from the database, we returned this object with a unique ID identifier. Next. In update product from the UI part, we receive the ID of our product. Its new rating, new price, and name, which remained unchanged. Let's return the new data to the UI part. We see that the price and rating have changed.